All right, what's going on guys? It's Jevin. Welcome back to Call of Duty World War II. Double XP is back. We're gonna be playing some free for all today. Probably gonna have some highlights and shit like that. The past few videos haven't really had many uh, highlights going on. I've just, I've been really, really concentrating on trying to get this uh, whole challenge done because I sat here for days upon days upon days working on this bazooka and I just, I finished the bazooka though. It's done, it's gold. So now we're just on the Panzer Shrek and uh, yeah. It's really not as bad as people were telling me it was. I don't know, a lot of people were saying that it's absolutely terrible. Wait until you get to this, wait till you get to that. And it really, it's not that bad. It seems like the rocket itself, even though it doesn't go as straight, it goes pretty straight, but the rocket itself seems to travel a little bit faster. So you're able to shoot things at distance a little bit easier. Got a merciless there, fuck me. And the Car 98, th this gun is just so much better than all the other snipe rifles. It's actually embarrassing. And so double XP is here. Uh, I don't really know how much XP we're going to get for winning this. I usually got around like 8,000 or so for actually winning in a reasonable amount of time with no challenges done. So we went 30 and 8 right there. I got this cool little emote now. Bang. Yeah. We got 20k XP. Did I get a challenge in there? No, I didn't get a challenge at all. We could play Ghost Dev. Uh, I'm fine with that. So now I, I've been doing this thing now when I've been playing free for all. Uh, again, I haven't been able to fully concentrate on everything, but I think I'm going to make a video talking about free for all, free for all sniping and shit like that. I know I haven't exactly quote proven myself as a good free for all sniper player or whatever, as far as World War II goes anyway. People see me on MW2, BO2, AW, shit like that. But I haven't really played free for all in, you know, years since then. And I think I want to make for Jever 4 a free for all montage. The thing is, I've been playing with a lot of other people uh, just because you know it's the release of the game everybody's like really hyped so there's always a ton of people around that want to play so it's kind of difficult being a free-for-all player because unless you're playing with other free-for-all players then you're just able to all sit in a call being socially inept not playing together in a party it's, it's a little weird whenever you're the one playing free-for-all alone and there's like six other people in your call that are all like you know partied up playing domination or some shit for free-for-all on this map in particular on Ghost of Cannon I always use lookout on this map no matter what because it is just so fucking hard to see people across the map especially in free-for-all when you could actually make it up here and end up get dropping like a v2 rocket and shit like i want to get so good at free-for-all i'm not really the type of guy that's good well period but <laughs> not really the type of guy that has ever been really good with getting streaks and nukes and shit like that i never really went for nuclears and things like that but i'm seeing a whole bunch of people drop v2 rockets and shit on this game and it seems like a really cool thing to do i know it won't necessarily i guess fit my play style on this game but a lot of people were saying like hey man since we're adding highlights and stuff in your videos why don't you just sit around and you know try to get a v2 rocket for a video I i'm not good at live commentaries i used to do them and oh it's so painful it's so fucking awful i'm playing live but there's a lot of like cuts in between and shit because i'm always sitting here like concentrating trying to stare down and hard scope and shit especially if i'm going for a v2 rocket there's no fucking way i'm gonna be able to talk my way through that shit plus i'm commentating absolutely everything that's going through my head which is not gonna result in any funny or witty things said whatsoever it's just gonna be me like i'm standing up here this guy's spawning over here i'm looking over here hard scope a little bit i know this guy's over here in the corner better hope no one's coming up behind me shit like that you know just play by play commentary doesn't really work for me so i used to be really high ranked on the advanced warfare free-for-all leaderboards but now for whatever reason they had the free-for-all leaderboards done by score per minute instead of total xp or overall kda it's really weird but i have like thousands of more kills than other people that are on my friends list but they're ranked higher than me in free-for-all just because their score per minute is extremely high because they played like two games and they were good games so they have like an impossibly high score per minute and there's no way i can catch up to them so it seems like the more that you actually play free-for-all on here the more the more kills you get the more games that you play it seems like the further down you actually fall on this whole thing so as far as getting highly ranked in free-for-all ladder it's probably not gonna happen but still hit some clips and try to get some fucking v2 rockets and shit like that i don't know got a merciless right here yeah see gustav is like one of the easiest maps to actually drop a v2 rocket on just because you can stay safe for so long and people are just constantly running around the map especially if you have lookout on sniping anyway it's so so nice I just hit mark this guy in the head? What, what the fuck was that? Didn't even seem like I actually hit him. That was weird. 
So there, there's that. Picked up this nice little Springfield there at the end. Another 20,000. Okay, I mean, that's all right. Uh, I fuck with that. All right, fuck it. Let's go with the Springfield here for this game. Holy fuck, this thing is diamond. For some reason, the pistols in this game are the things that look best with a lot of these camouflages. I don't know what's... I really want to be a good Springfield player, but I'm just... It's such a weird gun. I love it. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. Man got turned on so hard. Watch this panzer real quick. Watch how quick this thing is. I mean, I, I got it. I, whatever. Got the bronze star. So unlucky, man. So many situations where I could have hit something and just nothing happens. It's tough wanting to be someone that's really good with a Springfield and then also trying to hit clips in free for all because free for all is something that's based on speed and accuracy are a thing, right? And it's not even to make it sound like it's a really deep. It's Call of Duty, okay? Left trigger, right trigger. In free for all, it's different because trying to pick a slower gun in free for all is just really not optimal. I mean, sniping in general on Call of Duty, I mean, for years has not been the optimal thing to do, but this game here should actually push us to six prestige if we win it lots of people that are rushing around with submachine guns on this map you know, i've been thinking about it maybe i could try to use the end field in free for all uh, i really don't think the end field is you know that bad of a gun my concern is that i'm gonna turn up my sensitivity just because it, it's got a slower scope and whenever i try to go back to the Springfield, it's gonna be really fucked up Oh, I got a stick right there for the win. Holy shit. <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to debate if Primed is still able to be used. Like, I I'm not really sure. I'm really not sure. Michael Condry was talking about there's an update that's supposed to be coming next week or something that affects some things. They talked about uh, flinch and shit like that in game. They wanted to reduce the flinch to Black Ops 2 toughness, which I don't fucking remember for shit. I'm not going to sit here and pretend like it's going to be that much better, but hey, we can prestige now. All right, let's prestige. All right, prestige. I already know there's people that are like level 300, 400, 500. I've came across a couple dudes that were like level 70 something another guy was 231 or some shit like that it was some crazy shit the crazy thing is when you get into a lobby with people that are prestige masters their numbers their rank their level is all golden once it passes 55 which is pretty crazy i want to see if you know they're gonna have 1000 with just one zero 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 or they're gonna have the 1k like uh mwr did it's probably just gonna be a 1000 thought 1k looked clean as fuck but i mean a thousand does too especially in gold letters Ooh. by the way i did have a good amount of people that have been tweeting shit at me like um hey man i come across this guy in my game that had chrome and he has this and he has that what the fuck is this gun and all this other shit do you see any gun in the game that looks like it's chrome especially that giant telescope looking gun that you see all the time that people are using in your games it's not chrome it's a variant it's a variant that is chrome now, i don't know if chrome looks like that on every single weapon but if i could make a springfield or an infield or something like that look that color I, I, honestly i'm gonna be a pretty happy guy all right so i think we're gonna perma unlock hustle here i really don't know what else to spend it on i have the snipe rifles that i want right here so it doesn't really matter Oh, fuck. I, oh, no. I was supposed to use the perma unlock on the Panzer Shrek. Still says I have a prestige token, but I, I don't. Well, at least it's double XP so we can get to, you know, level 18 faster. Hopefully we'll be able to get to like, you know, seventh prestige or so over this whole thing. Well, actually it's a five day period. So I could get to like eighth prestige, ninth prestige and shit. If, you, if I really grinded, if I didn't have too many things to do. Uh, tomorrow is Thanksgiving here over in America. I'm gonna be going back to my house. I don't really know if I should like vlog or something while I'm there or just make a video ahead of time before I go there or just make a thank you video here and stuff and then you know just go about my business hang out with my family and stuff for the day i don't know i'll figure it out i know this video is a little bit more i guess highlighty not so much that i'm talking about here it's just because updates haven't come yet and not that much has really changed besides double xp so i'll address a couple things in tomorrow's video the thanksgiving video it's usually just a thank you video and it's a little bit more i guess heartfelt and stuff just like a one-on-one -on -one thing they'll call of duty and bullshit and screaming in between so anyway yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video yesterday's video got over thirty thousand likes let's see if we can do it again most recent videos are popping up on the screen here leave a like if you guys enjoyed and uh yeah so Jeff, guys, later. I got pussy in my